I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just. We're white trash and in trouble. I'm actually. This is not um, Zoom. This is. We're on uh, Chat Roulette and you're supposed to be the guy jerking off behind the camera. Damn. You got a fucking big one there, boy, baby. Welcome back. My dogs are looking at me like I'm retarded. <laughs> Episode nine. Can you believe we're on yeah. nine episodes already? I mean, it's been a ride. <laughs> I mean, what are we going to do for 10? We're going to like publicly flog someone. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. What if we did like an, a white trash and in trouble where we had to do like one of our friends? What do you mean, do our friends? That'd be so fucked. We can't do that. Okay. That's too far. <laughs> we can't publicly fuck a friend. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on where you fuck them. <laughs> Wherever the least amount of felonies can occur. <laughs> California. New York City. Portland, yes, Oregon. Yes, we can go to California we can get away with murder there. Absolutely. I'm fucking... Let's, as long let's, as you vote Democrat. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm 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 so down to commit murder. Yeah, <laughs> people are gonna clip that. And be like, ah, ah, ah. One second. Actually, I think someone's hang on. Someone's knocking my door. Hang on one second. We'll be right back, everybody. Saki's struggling to freaking uh, to get around today, so she wanted up on the couch. I think I'm going crazy. Crazy because I see I could have been a dreamer. That's a good song. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Ooh, cool. What's cool? I like cool. I'm not cool. Miranda and her dad, like, uh, she's on Cali, is, and her dad obviously is too. They're doing my taxes because uh, I have a 1099 because of YouTube and stuff and comedy, and I might be getting a pretty good return. Nice. Yeah, I mean, not like not nothing big or anything, but fuck it. I mean, a return's Better a return. Than money. <laughs> exactly. I mean, dude, I, fuck, <laughs> I'm, I made like over like $4,000 on YouTube last year alone. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. I mean, it would have been nice if I made, made more. I mean, now this year, I think I'm only at like, I'm like maybe 200 bucks so far. I mean, which isn't, it's whatever, but I mean. It's better than nothing. It is better than nothing. Dude. And it's better than Owen. Exactly. I must say, I am so fucking proud of, of, of how fucking Saturday went, dude. Like, dude, I'm proud of you for that. Dude, that I'm proud. Awesome. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Tony. I'm proud of Manny. Like, you guys fucking killed it. Like, You'd be surprised. You might think my what family, about huh? What'd you say? So what about Brendan? Oh well, it... good job. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, I, I know. I know my, my family, when they were there, they it, it looked like, you know, they weren't laughing a whole lot, but they, like, show their emotions differently. They kind of do this. Yeah. I, yeah. I noticed your dad and your mom, like, they smile more than anything. Yeah, that's how that's how they show they're, they're having a good time. Uh, but, yeah, and trust me, they fucking, they thought you were hilarious. Like, yeah, my, my mom was like, I love EJ. And I'm like, and she's like, wait, which one's EJ? And, she, and she's like, I was like, one well, of the glasses. And she's like, no, the, the tooth. And I'm just like, oh my God, mom, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But, uh, but just, in, well, yeah. So just in case anyone didn't know, I haven't uploaded the uh, episode eight of White Trash. Um, I announced it on there. We both did actually. Uh, we had we did a show in Ocala, Florida, at Roma's Italian, which turned out fucking phenomenal. I was dude, I was scared shitless for like the last few weeks. I'm like, how's it gonna go? How's it gonna go? How's it gonna go? And and fucking, what do you know? It fucking was beautiful. 
and you got a stan out of it. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> When you showed me the screenshot and he was like, you don't get it. I'm an EJ Stan. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. This guy's going to stalk me and kill his pregnant wife. <laughs> now, he's um, now he's a good dude. We we went, we go way back. He's a huge fan of comedy. I don't know why he never did stand up, but he he did used to do podcasting and stuff. And I and I told him, I said, dude, you're more than welcome to come on White Trash. He's more than welcome to. Um, but no, he literally said, uh, he said, Dude, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm going to text you at least once a week about EJ, about getting him on next month. And I said, I said, EJ will be on again. Probably not next month. I say, give it a little bit until like, you know, EJ writes more, writes like, you know, newer material. So, so, so that way people who, who do attend the show again, that way EJ's got some, you know, you know, more shit to fucking fry up. Yeah, I have more stuff still. Like, oh, perfect. I don't know if I could do almost an hour. Uh, I, I dude, hour. I'm, so are you are you gonna do the fucking Jesus returning bit? Because honestly, I think you do it fucking beautifully. Uh, sure, I'll throw that in there. With just, my just day. because, because I've done, because I have way too many Jewish jokes, and like I, I'm afraid people are gonna be like, "You're just anti-Semitic." I'm like, "No, I'm not. I, I just think they're, they're they're so easy to joke about." It's the part <laughs> of me I hate the most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself because ah! <laughs> no, it's just funny. Like, imagine it's like Jesus returns, but he people don't ex people expect the unexpected. Like Jesus, he returns, and people and he's a Jew. I'm talk about it. He's, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about it. It's just like no, my honest. <laughs> the amount of shit that you and I send back and forth. Uh, if somebody ever got a hold of like our chat. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get we'll get killed. <laughs> They've we'll, got a lot of material, but a lot of it is fucked. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's we'll, we'll get killed. We, we'll get killed for sure. Um, but I do I do have my my new comics in mind for next month, and I'm just waiting on Rusty to give me a, a date. And he said he's got a meeting like sometime this week. So thumbs up, baby, thumbs up. But did you have a good weekend, other than uh, other than the show. I mean, the show was great. Yeah, I had a, mm -hmm. a damn good weekend. Uh, I for, the only downside to the show was that uh, UFC 298 was on, so I had to sit over there by your family. <laughs> and freaking, luckily, you know, through the first comic, it wasn't bad because I'm like, all right, and they're like, oh, what's going on over there? <laughs> so I'm watching <laughs> the fights, and your cousin and them are right behind me, freaking, and next to me watching it. No, uh, <laughs> my it was better than the open <laughs> my cousin was so thrown off when, when you called him like uh, when he called him like a meth dealer or something like that he was just like what the fuck who's this guy and i'm like hey, hey, hey it's okay he's just kidding <laughs> or is he <laughs> Dude. shannon was like babe I, I was really proud of you i think that was one of your best sets so I was it, like, thank you it really was, was man i i god damn it i wish i, I wish we would have fucking recorded your set man because that was that yeah, was brilliant parts of it she recorded uh, okay. parts of it mm -hmm. but uh like she should have got the whole damn thing i can't believe dude let me tit fuck him on stage <laughs> <laughs> that was that's he that, that's, your, that's your that's your stan <laughs> um <I know. laughs> yeah oh. Oh, what the, oh yeah what the fuck um Oh, she, the one thing she said, she was like, maybe don't shit on the area that you're in as much as you did. And I was like, are you kidding me? It was funny, first of all. And they were laughing. Yeah. She was like, oh, Scotty's mom didn't like when you asked about the Christians part. And I was like, she didn't no. really have a problem. She said, we're in Ocala. Everybody's Christian. No, my mom got a little uh, uptight about the, I think, um, the Biden jokes and stuff because my my mom hate to say it loves Biden very much and I'm like ah. I don't know yeah I didn't make any Biden jokes I know that a couple of people did but, the Republican uh, jokes or Democrat jokes yeah, yeah, yeah I think you, you made a couple of Democrat jokes and and yeah I don't think my mom was what like I made a, what? a joke about Jesus being Republican oh yeah he yeah because he's, he's a carpenter yeah, that's that's what it was mom was like he would yeah. not be a he would not be a Republican. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I heard that thought. I didn't know that was your mom that yelled that, and I was like, I promise you, if you walk into a carpentry shop, it's more 
more Trump than there is Biden. <laughs> da, Jesus would be mad at me because I'd be late selling him parts because I work for a, a fastener company. He'd be like, dude, where's the fucking grinder at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, episode nine, White Trash and Trouble. People who don't know what the show is about. You know, obviously, I explain this all the time, but EJ's like, why do you explain it, Scotty? Because I fucking want to. Basically, the moral the moral of the show is we we go, we find articles about people that are white trash that get in trouble. They don't have to be necessarily, you know, of a white descent. They can be whatever they want. Um and they don't have to be in trouble. Exactly. <laughs> and okay, I can't remember what, what we talked about last week because I just had so much going on th- this week. So we could skip that part. And would you like to go first? Uh sure. Uh, I think last week I, I did a about the Duncan guy. Yeah, the Duncan the guy, guy that uh, threw a hot coffee in the the Duncan. <gasps> oh yeah, 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 and yeah. Was... Oh, and mine was the guy who uh, was working out naked at a at a Planet Fitness. He's like, I thought this was freedom of speech. <laughs> <laughs> it says judgment free zone, even though the lock alarm is going off. <laughs> <laughs> the lunk alarm. He's jerking <laughs> off, and he, that's his left lunking right there. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that's what the Brits call jerking off. You, no, that's wanker. You wanker. I left a lunk on your bench. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lunk on my oh, nut. Um, this uh, particular article. I'm just gonna start by saying, you can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more funny than anything to me. A uh, 73-year-old man in uh, Ojai, California. Named... Oh, hi. Oh, O-J-A-I? Yeah, oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! <laughs> How you walked into this diner. Hey, so... it's, it, it's better than Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it? The tax rate's out. Extreme, uh, outstandingly ridiculous, extremely oh, retarded. Oh, I oh, oh hi is like a is like a mountain town. It's like it's like in central, not too far from where Miranda's parents live, but it's like hotter than fucking dick uh, over there. I and, love when you go ah geography, and then you do this. <laughs> You're like it's a central mountain town. <laughs> it's got step terrace, so they can have agriculture. They've got a very limit on a very high limit for their water usage. So there's a drought going on. It's a long line. I, I like right. it. Oh, I my. like how you. I like how you made me sound like a fucking Pittsburgh businessman. <laughs> it's on a fault. It's on a fault line. <laughs> oh. I right, continue with your Jimmy Neutron fucking hairdo right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was uh, playing Call of Duty before this. And ah, got like the, the hat hair going on. Yeah. Uh, so seventy-three year old Clinton Brewer. Up California. Doggos. He always does it whenever I'm on a recording. Is it Jiffy? Of Ohio, California. Walked into a vegan diner. <laughs> wielding steaks. <laughs> slapping vegans in the face. <laughs> yelling, you can't have any pudding without eat your meat. <laughs> Like this dude lived out a dream, dude. That's like <laughs> I broke patrons before somebody tackled him. That just tells you how fucking weak these vegans are. What? How many it's people? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve people. He's a seventy-three-year-old man. Oh my Nothing. god! I don't know. Maybe they were ribeyes. Maybe they were New York strips. It could have been flank steak. You know, the economy is pretty bad over there. <laughs> Dude, bow, 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 just slapping the shit out of vegans. And it took him slapping the shit out of 12 vegans with steaks before one could muster up enough energy after their kale salad to fucking tackle him. Well, dude, clearly, if it takes 12 people to fucking tackle a 73 year old man, veganism doesn't work. (laughs) It doesn't fucking work. Clearly. I mean, dude, if you're. If you if you're like oh I'm vegan you know we are the most healthiest people you're not no you're you're you got no protein you're not strong you can't take down a fucking senior citizen come on he probably pees his pants easily take him down <laughs> so uh the guy's a lifelong resident of Ohio and yeah. uh he was annoyed with the vegans <laughs> so he went into 
It doesn't name the name of the place, but he just started slapping him and yelling, if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. So That's from a movie, right? I think this guy deserves a medal. Dude, he, he <laughs> is... Okay, he's white. He's totally white trash, but he is not in trouble. That dude, that, that, that guy's a fucking... <laughs> He is a martyr right there for us normies. <laughs> so here's what's even more fun about it. The dude went in with stakes, slapping people, right? And three people. I mean, they'll, they'll... yeah, three. Yes, <laughs> the guy called him three granola crunch, crunching California nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Granola crunching hospital for nuts. superficial wounds. Oh my god! Wait, they had to go to the hospital. The fucking victims for getting slapped with steaks. They're what? vegans. It's a code word for pussies. <laughs> but pussies are so strong, though. I mean, they they give birth to fucking babies. Wimps. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. pussy does take any size piston, Sorry. does its own oil change. My fucking my fem my feminism had just came out right there. <laughs> <laughs> a pussy's an amazing machine. And they feel great too. You should do it. Do it in the uh in the Gilbert Godfrey voice. The pussy is amazing. The pussy is amazing. <laughs> I'm clipping that for sure. <laughs> the mission statement. <laughs> I would rather get Lou Garrick's disease to lick Catherine Zeta Jones' pussy. Me too. <laughs> but that was one of his um, his bits where he he says uh, he because uh, he talks about uh, Michael Douglas getting uh, throat cancer. Uh, after suppo supposedly licking Catherine Zeta Jones' pussy, and then Gilbert's like, I think cancer's a small price to pay to lick Catherine Zeta Jones' pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other funny thing about this, yes. uh, I don't even know what happened to Mr. Clinton Brewer. He, he He's a fucking G. I want to find him. Yeah, he, he is a gangster, but this is how pussified California is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They offered <laughs> what like therapy? <laughs> they offered grief counseling to the victims of red meat touching their face. He offered fucking therapy counseling. for people for people who got attacked by steak. Can you imagine the by grandpa with steak? <laughs> like I My... just picture it man bun. And we, so I think I'm going to go for, I don't know, maybe the low-calorie, non-gluten, blah, 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 yakety yak, 200 more fucking words, kale, because it's actually organically grown, and no illegals, sorry, undocumented workers were harmed in the making of oh this food. Oh, my God. And then in comes Grandpa. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Dude, our grandfathers fought in wars. They were shot at. They killed. They saw their friends die. They probably didn't go to fucking therapy. They drank. But you mean to tell me that these people, these fucking people, got attacked <laughs> by an old man with two stakes and they have to go to fucking therapy for this? America, what the fuck? We're so fucked when China wants us. What year was this? What year was this? This was uh, oh, last year. March 18th, 2023. Wait, wait, I, I can't hear what you say. March 18th of 2023. This is fucking like just a year ago, like literally, yeah, just a little, little under a year ago. Yeah, and hold on, let me pull up this picture. <laughs> I got to see this fucking legend, Clinton Brewer. So he got arrested. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and his mugshot. Uh, let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Hey, guys, kind, of, kind of hard to see. There, there we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't that's, that's on purpose right there. That is on <laughs> fucking purpose. He totally did that on purpose right there. Snake. <laughs> yeah, he, he totally made himself look like a retard. Just right there. <laughs> He looked most, like a guy that just took a bite of the most succulent steak that went across vegan faces. Wow. The other part of this for me that is really troubling is they had to have grief therapy for taking meat on their face. I got to assume at least one of the 12 victims had to be a female. I would assume like eight of the 12 were probably female, dude. <laughs> and, and, and or pre- non-binary you know, not, or or non-binary fucking transgender dreidels. I don't fucking know. And sexual, mm. you know, whatever else eats at vegan places. Beautiful. <laughs> so, so what's the? Is he out of jail? I assume he's out of jail, right? He's got to be out of jail. I mean, come on. What's the worst he did? He nothing. He didn't he, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he, he didn't. He didn't do a fucking thing. That's the funniest shit. If I was a cop, I'd be like, dude, you're free to go. Come to he Florida. had to tenderize the steaks, and he chose to use vegan faces to do it instead of a fucking tenderizer. But what do you think? What do you think got him like to that level where he's just like, "I'm gonna go and slap these people with fucking steak." I don't know. Like, but... like, do you think he has like a grandkid that he maybe he maybe like beat the shit out of, and he's like, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> beat the shit out of. Maybe if I. I don't know, got like, you know, ribs or steak. I can go ahead and just fucking beat the crap out of people at vegan restaurants. That'd be funny as hell. Or maybe, maybe he went to a steakhouse before this and a vegan was sitting at the table next to him and said, do you have anything vegan? And he said, that's it. I've had enough. And then he saw that same person's brother put A1 on the steak. And it was fucking over. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're gonna put A1 steak sauce on a steak, you're you're you you don't des- you don't deserve to go to heaven. Fuck you. <laughs> oh damn. You better tell that to Shannon. <laughs> I go ahead. Why don't I get into it the most when I'm grilling a steak and she goes, Do we have A1? I'm like, do you wanna learn or do you want it with love? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I'd rather just fucking eat it. With some good dry rub. I don't need any sauce from my steak, to be honest with you. Anyway, so I am going to say this guy is not white trash and in trouble. He is a fucking king. We should we, we have to protect him at all costs. And good luck out in Ohio, brother. Oh, oh, okay. So he wasn't charged. Oh. Huh. Oh, never mind. Wrong one. Did you just fart? No, I burped. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mouth fart. <laughs> hmm. All right. All right. I don't All think right. he's white trash and in trouble. He's I dead. just wanted to educate people that it took 12 victims <laughs> of a steak beating to t- <laughs> a steak <laughs> beating to take down a 73 year old man. These vegans are not healthy. They're they not meat. <laughs> I know they need meat, and they need to fucking go. <laughs> they need to stop the, the pronoun stuff. They need to stop. <laughs> okay, so mine. This person didn't necessarily get arrested per se. Actually, didn't get arrested at all. Uh, but this person is advocating for something that you and I and. Billions of people definitely hate. And you know what that is? That we all can agree that we all fucking hate the most? Oh, that we all hate the that, most. That this person is defending? Well, if it's something we all hate the most. Uh, did you... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I was going to say, don't say any. <laughs> it begins with a J. Or... Does it sound something close to... No, no. Come on. <laughs> all right. What do we all hate the most, Scotty? We all hate pedophiles. Okay. So this goes goes like this. Prison sex therapist defends pedophiles as minor attracted persons. This person did get arrested, but I think this person needs to go to fucking jail. Mm. A- 
advocates for victims of childhood sexual abuse are ex excoriating ex ex, ex can't read e x c o r i a t i n g what does that spell sorry say it again um it's spelled e x c o r i a t i n g excoriating excoriating i think it's excoriating let me see it text it to me yeah excoriating thank you sorry not on my glasses on. over here trying to read your okay. stuff and keep here to stop from barking <laughs> <laughs> All right, advocates for, for for victims of childhood sexual abuse are excoriating a licensed sex therapist with the Commonwealth who is advocating that pedophiles to, to be referred as minor attracted persons. I hate to say this, but her name. Sorry, babe. Miranda Galbraith. <laughs> uh, a Pennsylvania Department of uh, Corrections sex therapist and counselor this week in, da in angered pushback after posting a video on social media seeming to defend pedophiles and calling on them to be referred as minor attracted persons. I fucking hate that. Okay, I just like that the article used the word like excoriate. I haven't even heard that in a minute. Yeah, no, I feel like I, feel like I, I picked an article that's way too smart for my stupid <laughs> vocabulary. It's like, it's, it's like to, to um, criticize. or, or um, Yeah. Uh, Thank you. I'm sure. You fucking yeah. geek. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. She but, is. Right. She, good. No, my first thing is, does she have kids? Let's find out. I don't know. Right. For anybody to think, I just, I don't get it, man. Like, you have to be really fucked. Yeah. And beyond a, a bad, beyond repair to think that a kid is attractive, first of all, especially a child. Exactly. Although now, right now, as I'm saying that, there's a comedian's bit running through my head where he's like explaining the difference between a pedophile, which is like toddler, then a prepubescent, <laughs> and he's like, it's tough to explain that without sounding like a pedophile. Yeah, I know, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah, but I know. That's something I feel like everybody could agree on. You're you're taking the innocence of a kid. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> yeah. All right. She is helping to minimize the problem, and said Mike McDonald, survivor survivor of clergy sexual abuse, Catholics, Catholics, and a, and a leader, <laughs> and a leader of the state survivors network of those abused by priests. She's helping to minimize the truth, the death, and uh, the scope, the scope and the gravity of the crime itself. In a YouTube video told, titled, Let's Talk About Minor Attracted Persons, Galbraith said pedophiles were probably the most vilified population of folks in our culture. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, they, bitch. they are fucking villains. Uh, the term pedophile has moved from being a diagnostic Label to being ju a judgmental, hurtful insult that we hurl at people in order to harm them or slander them. Galbraith said they deserve to be fucking harmed. Yeah. Well, in the defense of what she just said, just that statement, it's true. I've called people that aren't pedophiles a pedophile before. I wanted to fight them. <laughs> well, I <laughs> mean, you look like, or if I'm making a joke, well, you look like a fucking pedophile, bro. If I see you near a playground, I'm dialing 911. Dude, any any man with a mustache, like goofy looking glasses, goofy looking shoes, and like tight pants and a polo looks like a pedophile. Anybody so can. You mean when we go golfing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, it's funny because our fucking wieners are hanging out and they're flashing. They look like child dicks. They're like, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh man. Pass down dick out if you can't make it past the ladies' tees. Dude, I dude, there's my, one of my uncles couldn't make it past the ladies' tees on, on certain uh, holes and, and uh, on when we were playing golf. And I'm like, if only EJ were here, he'd be like, whip out that fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I also like to use. <laughs> I also like to use person uh, first person language. Per, 
Person first, sorry. Language that recognizes that any label we apply to a person is only part of, the, of who they are and doesn't represent everything that they are. Penn Live reached out to the Department of Corrections for a comment. Press Secretary Maria Bevins indicated she would respond to the inquiry, but had not done so by Friday afternoon. McConnell, who was abused by two priests when he was between the ages 11 and 12. <laughs> first off, it. if you're abused by the first priest, why, 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 do you, why, do you, why do you go back for the second one? You're like, <laughs> you're like, oh, Father David, fucking Father John, touch my wiener. What am I going to do? Oh, what am I going to do there, Boyle? Come here. I'll tell you over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man what does father john give for anal usually a piece of chocolate and tells us to be quiet <laughs> one of my one of my favorite uh like priest and rabbi jokes is a priest and a rabbi are, are, are walking down the road and they see a kid the priest goes you want to fuck him and the rabbi says out of what yeah that's a good that's a classic one <laughs> When I hear the term pedof- uh, pedophilia, I get a punch in the gut and I have to pay attention because I don't want I want to know more about the individual, said McConnell. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. yeah and saying this- that a pedophile isn't everything that it is. It's like <clears throat> saying uh, Hitler wasn't just a Jew extinguisher. Jew extinguisher. Jesus. Yeah, he was. <laughs> technically, he wasn't. I mean, he he he, extingu- he tried to exterminate gypsies. Try to exterminate ca- ca- Catholics, gays, and communists, uh, communists handi- handicaps as well. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't just the Jews. So I hope you started off with the gypsies, fucking gypsies. Oh, I love your gypsy little baby. Good girl. <laughs> Dude, so uh, a long, long time ago, uh, I used to hang out with a buddy of mine named uh, Ole, right? And he was from Ukraine and he had this like, group like they're very tight knit community there's a large portion of like eastern europeans in uh the tampa bay area they actually have like uh clubs and everything for like polish americans and all that mm-hmm. well they had a meeting at a park and i got invited you know because they were doing a cookout mm-hmm. and you know me like hey let's fucking have fun with stereotypes and shit right mm-hmm. oh, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, was, there was this pale white kid named casper that was sitting there and I was like, dude, you look like a school shooter personified. And he goes, what? And I was like, what are you like? How long have you been in America? And he goes like two, three years. And I'm like, yeah. So you took time off from beating up gypsies. And that opened up a can on this kid where all he could talk about is how much fun they actually have beating up gypsies. <laughs> He's like, we get out to we go downtown and we, we find the gypsies and we beat their asses. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't understand what a gypsy does. Are they just like fucking like European hippies or something like that? That that, that do like weird like voodoo stuff? Yeah, basically. Just yeah. Talking about that. Yeah, the Romani I, people are a proud people. Yeah, because I remember from Borat when uh, yeah, but he was like he needed like he was talking to this woman. He was like, "I met the gypsy. I let me take your tears, gypsy. I'm not a gypsy. I'm a Midwestern farmer's daughter." <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Uh, all i gotta say is whenever like you ever see the uh the there was a reality show shannon fucking was watching it of course rather reality mm-hmm. and it was about the romani people and that uh the romani people are a very proud people you know uh, and all this and all i could think of every time the lady talked was whatever esmeralda <laughs> esmeralda <laughs> yeah dude the fucking you know, I'm I knew people that went to jail for like so okay. <laughs> so I know in the state of Florida, I'm pretty sure and and you can probably correct me on this, isn't like the age of consent between the ages of like seventeen to like twenty three or twenty four or something like that. So on their own is 18, I believe, with parental consent is 16. Okay. But, like, you have that that uh, that gap of, like, 16 to 22, mm-hmm. I believe, yeah. where you can have problems. I have a friend that's actually on the sex offender list because <clears throat> his girlfriend was 15. He turned 18. The dad hated him. He, like, he brought her home and freaking the cops were there waiting, you know. Even That's though the girlfriend wanted it, and they were like, they were together when she was, uh, like two years before that. 
So yep. he was 16 and she was 13, I believe. Yeah, that Which, happened. Yeah, that happened to a guy I knew as well too. He um, yeah, I, I was actually just trying to. I was actually was getting ready to explain that. Um, yeah, same thing. I think she was like 16, he was like 18 or something like that. What two years? I mean, come on. And yeah. the mom well, labeled like, as a pedophile versus being a pedophile. Like, yeah, see that's little... see that's a difference right there because there are people like you know, for example, like back in the early 2000s when lot when LimeWire was really popular, you know, people would would click on links and all of a sudden, boom, child porn will pop up pop up on their uh, on their computers. And a lot of men got in trouble for that, and they're labeled as fucking pedophiles, really. And they're like, "No, I'm not. Like this, this it was a fucking accident." The only thing I was was a fucking pirate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He I just, was trying to get a free song. <laughs> exactly, you know, and and yeah, like what you just said, you know, there's a big difference between the, you know having that accidentally happen to you versus being one. And mm-hmm. I feel so fucking bad for, for for the guys who are like that because, you know, they have to go around and. <laughs> And tell them at open mics. <laughs> <laughs> Which never happened, by the way. I, I'm just a fucking I'm just a retard. I'm just a fucking retard. No, I, I told I picked I'm a my, registered sex offender. <laughs> what if I did it like this? I am a registered sex offender. No, it's funny. I, I I pitched that joke to my brother, and he liked that a lot. He said, "Dude, do it for your show." And I said, I "Might wait a little bit on that one, right there. <laughs> Maybe when I do oh. more time or something. I don't know." What really got me about it was <laughs> that the owner of the establishment was there next to his wife, smiling at each other and thinking, "This is going really well. I like it." Their kids are out back running around, and then this big burly motherfucker yells. I'm a registered sex offender, <laughs> not once but twice. <laughs> and Wait, then I didn't yell. I yelled it once. What are you talking about? Mm, I'm pretty sure. No, I said. That. No, I said. Now you guys think I am a registered sex offender. He, oh, so okay. like, so you I, yelled I, it once, but you said it twice. Oh come on! I, I yelled. I yelled it once. It's 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 fucking comedy, man. It's yeah. all. That was the best part, though. Is like. It was almost like a movie scene where you could just see the back door close quickly. <laughs> Those kids are running around outside. And it's like, <laughs> you, you know, you know what that reminded me of? Do you remember the movie The Santa Claus with Tim Allen? Mm-hmm. You remember the part when he is trying to uh, not become Santa, and he was still thin. He was still thin in this part, and he said, "Well, what if I choose not to believe it?" And then all the elves just stop and look at him. Everything got quiet. That's how I felt when I said. I- yeah, the air got sucked <laughs> right out of the room, then, dude. What if, dude? What if, like, the if you have been great timing right there, if the mic uh creaked, it was like, like, it, like it, just, it just whistled, and I'm like, <laughs> and then I literally said, Comedy is about taking risks, and I won the cr- I, cr- I won the crowd back when I said that, and I said, Now you guys think I'm a fucking sex offender, <laughs> <laughs> it was still funny. Oh, that was great. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I was like, yeah, kids out there. <laughs> I, I totally forgot there were kids. Um, anyway, so this woman, you know, obviously she didn't get arrested, but I, I fucking, I don't like that she's trying to defend pedophiles. Don't like it at all. Are. I don't like minor attracted po- a person. I no. think it's bullshit. Uh, I like Manny makes that joke about it, like map, <laughs> like you know. Mm-hmm. Now I can't see Thor the Explorer. I'm the map. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, you, you know what's funny? I actually wrote a similar joke uh, to that, but then he can't. But then he uh, did it first. I was like, "Fuck!" But I'm like, "Well, at least Manny and I think alike, so which is cool." And I'm like, mm-hmm. "Yeah." I, well, I talked to him that night because he said the uh, rumpet toro, you know, and I was like, "Dude, like I'm, I have a bit. Well, it's an actual story, true thing that happened to me before." that I was writing and it involves that. So I don't think that I fucking stole anything from you. And he mm-hmm. goes, yeah, my mom actually just told me the other day about that. I was like, okay, just so you know, I've been using that for a long time. Cause I had an ex that it was my nickname. <laughs> he had to tell, and I didn't know what it meant. She never told me she spoke Spanish, you know, mm-hmm. I she spoke Spanish. Yeah. Um, and had dinner with her parents and something about nicknames came up and I was like, yeah, she calls me. And her dad lost his shit. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what, what? He like threw the plate and stormed off and her mom looked over at me and I was like, honey, you just told our dad that she calls you. I was like, oh. 
Oh, why wouldn't you tell me that's what it meant? <laughs> now, what was it? You, you kind of broke up when you said, I, I pussy what? Ripper. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> you that's never what, turn what, your what, back on the pussy ripper. Do, 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 do. That's a good, I love, I love that song by Judas Priest. The pussy ripper, even though Rob Halford's gay and then a $2 bill. <laughs> Which is funny when you think like, you know, he was getting all of his leather, and people are like, "Oh my God, Rob's got the best leather." They're all going to this fucking. Nah, gay he, was, shop he was doing it. He was doing it because he's fucking expressing himself sexually because he had a fucking. He was in the closet for years. I mean, he, he said he fucked a lot of chicks, but just didn't like it. And I'm like, yeah, but hey, at least, at least he figured it out. I like. And Rob then Belford. the whole rock scene turned into a bunch of straight dudes wearing gay clothes. The lit. <laughs> Thank you, Rob Alford. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you're a man. <laughs> but yet, yet those even though this guy is dressed up like chicks, but they got fucking thousands upon thousands of pussy. Probably, maybe a, a quarter of them were underage as well, too. Pedophiles. Well, let's see. You got the Beatles. Have uh, she was just seventeen. You know what I mean. And then she's only seventeen. Mm-hmm. Well, that was Winger, wasn't it? Jesus. Um, Cinder- no. Yeah, was it? I think it was Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah. Right. And then you had um. Hmm. Sweet Sixteen by Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> like you got a lot of songs that are talking about fucking something that's barely legal mm-hmm. or illegal. I love that barely legal. It was like used in the worst ways possible. <laughs> it's illegal, barely. <laughs> cool. You, you seen that, that crowd work bit with Schultz? Where it was like, uh, how old are you? 26? How old is she? Just turned 18? <laughs> oh my God. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Andrew Schultz. Hey, he, he's, he pre- he, <laughs> he's pretty funny. Um, his podcast kind of gives me a headache because I feel like every like three minutes he has to do like the <laughs> I get like laughing and shit. Have you noticed that? Oh, you ever... Schultz. Yeah, Andrew Schultz. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna critique another comic. I'm no, I mean, I mean, I'm, I mean, I shouldn't really critique someone who clearly is better than both of us. But I don't know. I, no, I mean, I'm not. I'm not critiquing his stand. I think his stand is pretty good. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just critiquing his uh, his podcast. Cause he, cause he kind of does like the fake laugh, the like what Bert does. Yeah, but not like the high pitch. The sell uh, it. Yeah. The sell um, laugh. Yeah. Anyway, this lady, you're white trash. You need to go to fucking Fuck prison. Trouble. Actually, yeah, you're you're in big trouble. You need a broomstick broke off in your cooter <laughs> by a bull dyke. Yeah. Anyway, I got. Exactly. I have dinner. Waiting for me. <laughs> I've had dinner waiting for, for 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 a good bit. Actually, you let your dinner get cold to do a podcast. You are way too committed to this. <laughs> I'm 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 fucking dedicated, man. I'm I'm a dedicated. I love it too. I love you, you man. The mic that I was talking about. I love you too. Uh, the Dana Keg. No, nah, I'm not gonna go. That's um, because I, I thought Pat was hosting it. Because Pat Pat Largo's Pat Largo was my good buddy of mine. But then I saw like someone else was doing. It. I didn't realize it was mixed media. Huh? Mixed media mic. It's like uh, it's not just oh, comedy. Yeah. It's it's like music and and uh, whatever yeah. the fuck. Like the one I run at uh, Dang Good. Yeah. Um. It, it, did you hear about the guy who fucking said he's a sex offender at Dang Good? That said what? He said he's a sex offender at Dang Good. <laughs> oh, so uh, speaking, of, so we know that Dang Good is weekly every Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Hey, let's end this really quick so that way we can we can talk about this. Wait, let me announce this. On I, I announce. I announce it. I announce it. Yeah. New weekly mic. Yes. Tap this every Saturday. Oh, every Saturday. Does tap this get busy on weekends? Don't find out. Fuck yeah. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely try to make those for sure, man. Anyway, I'm Scotty Chi. All right. I'm EJ Salter. This is White Trash. Are we are White Trash. And in trouble, baby. Yeah. Yeah.